Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about discontinuous distribution of animals. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. Generally, members of a particular species have a continuous distribution. That is, they are continuously distributed throughout their range. So we can talk about our species sapiens. You can find human all over the world. This is called continuous distribution. But there are few exceptions. Sometimes members of a same species are found to inhabit more than one areas which are separated by thousands of miles but not present in the regions in between them. Suppose a species X is found in this place and this place. Here also X is found, here also X is found. Now these two places, these two places are separated by thousands of miles. Thousands of miles or even more. Now the species X is not found in between these two. That is, here you will not get any X. And these species are said to have discontinuous distribution. Their distribution is discontinued, just like this. Here some members are found, here also some members are found. But in between these two, here you will not get any of them. This is called discontinuous distribution. Now discontinuous distribution of animals occurs when a species' distribution is broken up by uninhabited areas such as oceans. So here their distribution is broken up. So most probably here uh, ocean is there or uh, some problem is there that's why in this place they cannot survive. Now let's see some examples. First let's talk about some mammals. The rhinoceros which are present in India and Africa but not in the region in between. The elephants have two genera, Loxodonta and Elephas. This Loxodonta is found in Africa and this elephant is found in India, Bangladesh, Burma, Sri Lanka, Indonesia and Vietnam. Okay, uh, let's see some birds. Ostriches are found in deserts of Africa and Saudi Arabia. Let's see some reptiles. Uh, among reptiles, alligators which are the members of crocodile family, they occur in South America and China. Let's talk about some amphibians. So among frogs, Leopelmidae, this is the family of primitive frogs, they have two genus. One genus is restricted to Northwest America and the other to New Zealand, here. Uh, let's talk about some fish. So lungfish has three living genera, Protopteras, Lepidocerin and Neoceratotus. Among them, Protopteras is found in the marshes and swamps of Africa. They are also found in larger lakes such as Lake Victoria. Lepidocerin inhibits the same ecological zone in South America. Same ecological zone means they are also found in swamps and marshy areas, slow moving waters of the Amazon, Paraguay and lower Parana river basins in South America. New Ceratodas is found in the rivers of Queensland, Australia. So some are found in Australia, some in Africa and some are in South America. Fossil theory of these three genera reveals that they had a worldwide distribution in Devonian period. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture.
Thank you for watching my video.